Hello Internet people! In this video, I'll show you how to verify Google Search Console only by using WordPress admin dashboard. We are going to insert a small code snippet into one file so there is no need for plugins or access to your hosting provider. Arnie, how do you insert code snippets? Stick around. Tip sweat punch. All right. Before we start, I just want to mention that I think it's better if, if you verify all domain properties in one go using the DNS verification. The video to the tutorial will appear on your screen now. It's a bit more complicated and you need access to your hosting provider, but you will have all variations of your domain under one property as you can see on your screen now. Otherwise, you end up with a messy thing like this one here. Okay, let's get started. Go to Google and search for Google Search Console and select the first option. Here, just click on Start Now. Now, if you've never used Search Console, then you will see this screen. In my case, I've used it before and I see something like this. And maybe you end up in the old view of Webmaster Tools. It looks like this. If you did, just click on the Use New Search Console button and you will end up on the same screen as I am now. Now, just below the Search Console logo, click on drop down and select Add Property Type. Arnie, are you still on board or are you too slow? Fuck you. Okay, now since I got everybody to see the same page, there are two options. The Domain Property Type will combine all combinations of your domain under one property. So for example, all your subdomains and HTTP and HTTPS and for example www and none www. The benefit of this is that you won't have six different properties but one combined one. The other type is URL prefix property type and it allows only specific URLs. So you will need to set up HTTP and HTTPS separately. But the advantage is that it's easier to set up and it is useful if you want to track your subdomain and the main domain separately. So let's go forward with the URL prefix as it's super easy to set up directly in WordPress. Okay, let's make it quick because my horse is getting tired. Start typing the URL that you want to add to Search Console. So for example, I'll be adding this subdomain lazylemon.punchsalad.com which is a landing page for a WordPress theme that I built recently. Oh, and I forgot to add the protocol. Let me add it, HTTPS. So as you can see, you really need to add the real URL and not just the domain. Then click on continue and Google will give you four options of how to verify the domain. If you already have Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager installed, you can verify your website using them, but for me, this doesn't always work. So let's choose HTML tag option. Copy the whole code here. You will need it in a bit. Okay, here's the PHP code you will need to add to your WordPress. There will be a link in the description where you can grab this. Just replace this bit with the one you copied from Google Search Console, like this. Don't worry, we're almost there. It will be over sooner than this fella realizes what happened. Oh my God. Then copy the whole code snippet and go to your WordPress dashboard. In your dashboard, navigate to Appearance and select Editor. Here on the right, you have a drop down. It usually selects the correct one by default. If you use a child theme, I recommend adding it there so your changes won't get overwritten when you update your theme. In my case, this theme doesn't have a child theme yet, so I'm just gonna use the parent theme. Below the drop down, you have a file called theme functions. Click on it. This will be also the case if you have a child theme. Then scroll to the very bottom of the file and see if you have a question mark and greater than sign. If you don't, you need to add it like this. Okay, now just copy paste the code I provided you, but with your verification code, obviously. Just make sure that the code you paste is under the question mark and greater than sign. 
and then click on the update file button. Now let's check that everything worked by going to the URL you've added to search console. So for me it was the lazy lemon subdomain. So let's go there, then refresh the page and then right click anywhere on the website and select view page source. This should work in Chrome, Firefox or even Internet Explorer. This is the code for your website and maybe this looks like Matrix to you. Hey, just don't go all Keanu Reeves on me. I am an FBI agent. So just search for Google dash site. You can do page search by pressing command plus F on Mac or control plus F on Windows. And then just type Google dash site. And you should see the verification code like this one, but obviously with your verification code. If you don't see this, just go back and check that you've copied the code that I provided you correctly with your verification code. Oh, really? Okay, so now you can go back to Google Search Console and click on verify. Now you should have your URL verified with Google. Google recommends that you do this verification process for HTTP and HTTPS and for the www and non www versions of your domain. Oh, and don't remove this code. Google checks it from time to time, so keep it where it is. It can take days or weeks before you will start seeing real data. After some time, you will see data like this, where you can see what search words bring you SEO traffic and you are able to notify Google that you have new pages and it needs to crawl them. My name is Robert and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos. Next, check out the first video that gives you a walk through the Google Search Console dashboard with all the features and what they do. Or if you want to know how to use Google Search Console to submit your new website to Google, check out the second video. Whoosh!